Have you been sleeping in contacts? Here's why you shouldn't. Dr. Athena Brassfield here, and today I'm going to be talking about the dangers of sleeping in your contact lenses. Now, if you don't already know, I'm a board licensed optometrist in practice for over 12 years, and I own two clinics here in Southern California that see thousands of patients every month. Now, I've seen some terrible eye infections and injuries happen to my patients that sleep in their contact lenses, so I wanted to share that with you guys in a video to educate you on the risks you're taking if you do decide to sleep in your contacts. Make sure you keep watching until the end of this video to find out exactly what kind of dangers there are when you sleep with contacts on. And make sure if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button to have access to all the videos I'm creating for you guys. And don't forget to click that bell icon there to get notifications of when my new material goes live. About one third of all contact lens wearers fall asleep with their lenses in, and most wake up with nothing more serious than a little dryness they can blink away with a few eye drops. Some contacts are even FDA approved for sleep. So isn't it safe to sleep in contacts if they're approved for sleep? The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, the CDC, say that it's not. That's because sleeping in your contact lenses makes you six to eight times more likely to get an eye infection. Serious eye infections can lead to corneal damage, surgery, and in rare cases, loss of vision. It's important to note that these infections can occur whether you're wearing contact lenses to correct your vision or purely decorative lenses like colored contacts. Have you ever slept in your contact lenses? If so, let me know in the comments below. So who's at risk? According to researchers, just about everyone. Studies show that around 85% of teenage contact lens wearers, 81% of young adult contact lens wearers, and 88% of older adults engage in at least one behavior that puts them at risk for an eye infection. The most common risk taken? Sleeping or napping in contacts. How does sleeping in contacts raise your risk of infection? Well, corneas, the front of your eye, come into contact with bacteria every day, yet infections rarely occur. That's because a healthy cornea is part of your eye's natural defense against contaminants. But to function in a healthy way, your cornea needs both hydration and oxygen. While you're awake, blinking keeps your eyes moist and oxygen can flow through the tears you produce. Contacts that fit over the surface of your eye are significantly cutting down the amount of oxygen and moisture your eyes can access. While you're sleeping, that decrease becomes even more severe. Without enough oxygen, a state called hypoxia, the cells in the cornea lose their ability to fight bacteria effectively. What can go wrong? Sleeping in your contacts could result in one of these serious eye conditions. Bacterial keratitis. Bacterial keratitis is an infection of the cornea, generally resulting from either Staphylococcus aureus or Pseudomonas aeruginosa, both of which are bacteria found on the human body and in the environment. You're more likely to have bacterial keratitis if you use extended wear contact lenses, if your immune system is compromised, or if you've had an eye injury. According to the National Eye Institute, infectious keratitis can usually be treated by eye drops, though more serious cases may require steroid drops. If left untreated, your cornea could permanently be scarred by the infection. Acanthamoeba keratitis. The amoeba that causes this infection can be found in lots of water sources, including tap water, hot tubs, pools, lakes, and rivers. The American Optometric Association say that acanthamoeba kera keratitis often occurs at the same time as a microbial eye infection. So if you've been rinsing your contacts in tap water, swimming in them, and also sleeping in them, you may be at risk for this. Treatment for this condition requires a long regimen of medicated eye drops, and if the eye drops don't resolve the problem, you may need surgery. The last is fungal keratitis. Researchers have found that fungal keratitis is most common in regions with mild temperatures and tropical weather. Sleeping in your contacts increases your risk of getting fungal keratitis. 
but most people who get it have also experienced some kind of eye trauma involving a plant, branch, or stick. Treating fungal keratitis quickly is important because if left untreated, it can cause you to lose sight in the infected eye. In fact, fungal keratitis is among the leading causes of blindness in India. So what if you accidentally fall asleep in your contacts one night? If you fall asleep with contacts in, remove them as soon as possible. If you can't remove them easily, don't tug at them. Place several drops of sterile contact solution in your eyes, blink, and try again. The extra lubrication should help dislodge the contact lens. Don't wear your contacts for one full day and pay attention to how your eyes are feeling. If you notice any of the symptoms of infection, contact your eye doctor immediately. Signs of infection. I recommend that you see your eye doctor right away if you notice any of these symptoms. Blurred vision, discharge coming from your eye, redness, excessive watering. If you think you have an eye infection, put your contact lens in a plastic container and bring it to the eye doctor so it can be tested. Eye care tips for lens wearers. Because lenses come into contact with the sensitive tissues of your eyeball, the American Academy of Ophthalmology advises that you observe these precautions. Don't swim or get into a hot tub while wearing your contacts. Wash your hands with soap and water before handling contacts. Rinse and store your lenses only in contact lens solution, never saline solution or tap water, which cannot disinfect your lenses. Rub your lenses with disinfecting solution to clean them before you place them in your storage container. And replace the disinfecting solution in your lens case every day. It's not enough to just top it off. And don't forget to replace your lenses and your lens case often, at least every three months for your lens case. Never used a cracked or broken lens case. When you travel, buy special travel size contact lens solution and don't pour the solution into another plastic container that may have been exposed to contaminants. The bottom line, sleeping in contact lenses is dangerous because it dramatically increases your risk of eye infection. While you're sleeping, your contact keeps your eye from getting the oxygen and hydration it needs to fight a bacterial or microbial invasion. If you do fall asleep with them in, remove them as soon as you can and let your eye recover for a day before wearing lenses again. Practice good contact lens hygiene to protect yourself from infection. If you notice any of the signs of infection, see a doctor right away so that you can treat the problem before more serious damage occurs. So there you have it, folks. I hope I was able to shed some light on why sleeping in your contacts is a bad idea. Remember, if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button to see the videos I'm creating for you guys, and make sure you share it with anyone you think would like it. Maybe another contact lens wearer, perhaps. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. Until next time.